Welcome to KSA Data Vision YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll look into a, one of the important topic in Power Query Editor, which is called Merge. So what exactly is Merge? So before we explain, let me get the data. I'll take the employee and the training data. I'll show you what data it is. Let's, let us take this as an employee data. We have the employee details, the employee name, the bio data, I would say, material status, gender, hire date, and which department and which job they are going to be ahead for. Now, as we know, once we get into a company, usually we'll be taking some of the trainings. It could be a mandatory training, so it could be a technical training, it could be a business training, or it could be a organization training. So it's mandatory to take. We all know that. Similarly, we have the training information so when did the training start what is the name of the course of course every course will have an id and who is the employee is taking and how much cost is spending for the training and who is a supplier so this is the training details so if you understand one employee can take many trainings as per the organization need now let me get both into my power bi now let us say this is my employee data and this is my training data so employee data we have only 50 employees this has been taken for as a sample and we have the training information that 50 employees have taken let me show an example let's take employee id 1 so in this employee id 1 and i'll also show that employee id 1 here so one employee id whose name is x person is details and he has taken a training of one two three four five six seven seven trainings on different dates he has taken seven trainings now this is what is the details of this data set now what we are going to do i'll give you the requirement straightforward requirement i need both tables or maybe both data sets to be merged how you can do it how you can do it i need to club this both tables and i need to create a new data set for that what we will do we'll take this into a power query editor so i'll go to home i'll go to transform data the moment i go to the transform data you can observe there is a new window that is open which is power query editor just to give a short introduction about the Power Query Editor. Power Query Editor is a built-in ETL tool that is available within Power BI, which takes care of the responsibility of data cleaning, data transformation. Now, I got the data. So each data set is called as a query. This is one query. This is one query. Now, let me do one thing. We have an option of merge here. Okay, so let me try with merge query as new first. So let me go to merge query as new. The moment I click the merge query as new, here I have already selected the employee table. Now I'll go and select the training table. Now, if you see this OK button is disabled. In order to enable this OK button, you need to make sure that among these two data sets, you need to decide what is a common column. Now here I have an employee detail, employee ID. Here also I have an employee ID, control click, control click now it has been joined now this has been opened also you have a different type of joints left join outer join full join inner join left anti right anti okay we'll explain you in a separate video what type of join it is but for now the most preferred one is a left join so let me take left join and i'll click ok the moment i click ok now you can see there's there is an another data set that is created uh, for better understanding let me give employee training as a name now if you see this is having both employee details as well as the training details but if you carefully observe till here it is employee details and now the training information is added but it is added in terms of an object what you need to do there is like a diverse button just click this and whichever columns you want from this table you can check in or check out so for me i don't need employee id because employee id is already present in an employee table rest of the things like a start date course name course code everything if you can give it i will click okay so this checkbox is basically like if you check this 
what will happen till year from year to year it's coming from employee table right and if you observe carefully from this onwards start date course code course name everything is coming from the training table now i'll close and apply that data set will be brought into my power view and if you see if you go and see this data this is an employee data this is a training data and this is a combination of both employee and training data now what is the outcome of this concept is you are actually merging the query merging the query is very much similar to a sql concept in joins if you see the joins concept like you have an inner join left join right join it is almost the same concept that you are using here if you want to club more or two or more tables the best concept that you will be implementing here is merge now let's go back to this let's go back to this now i'll delete this data the new one now let me try what is this merge query initially we tried with merge query as new so what happened merge query as new it created a new data set now let's try with what is merge okay now you need to explain me what is this merge just say this is an employee this is a training i'll select this employee id i select this employee id and i'll go and click okay and i'll expand this maybe this time i will uncheck this and also don't want employee id now i'll click okay now what happened in the employee table itself you have brought your training information so two things you have to remember merge query merge query as new merge query as new will be we will be able to create a new data set whereas merge query you can directly merge it with the existing data now if you see employee data set which is an employee query which is having the employee details along with our training details so usually if i want to tell you the use case of this function or this uh, feature in power query editor there could be some of the use cases where uh, clients are asking to merge two or more tables and put it into one complete data set at that time you can go and use merge query or merge query as new depending your client's requirement whether they want a new data set or they want in the existing data sets itself they want an additional information from the other table you can choose between merge and merge new okay very important concept they'll also ask in the interviews as well so please be prepared on this thank you so much if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe our channel we'll again come back with a new video and power query editor Thank you.